Hey everyone, my name is Boys and Blade, and I hope all of you are having a good day. So for today's video, we are back in Kjernobyshad and I'm going to be building a common warthog habitat. Even though I truly wanted pigs and there is a mod that transforms your warthogs into normal regular pigs, I can't be trusted with installing mods because I will, no matter how easy it is, I will break my game. So we are going to have to make do with the common warthogs but today's build is basically a Ethiopian style village which did a complete 180 from what we started with and what we ended up with. So with that being said let's get straight into today's video. So for the first bit of the video you will see me struggle with making a rounded thatched roof and yes basically what happened is if you have a building that doesn't fit like the well standard thatched roof that we have in game which are I think it's a 4 meter diameter and an 8 meter one. Yeah if you want something like a larger size or, for, or an in between size like you might be able to make it work. I don't. Like I was just like I wanted to make this work because the reference point that I used for this build and half of the village before I I think I basically deleted while I had half of the village I deleted half of it again so like 25% of the actual village that we end up with has this kind of style the rest has a different kind of style but yeah the reference point that I used was NO1800 specifically the DLC Land of Lions which if I read it correctly which it's questionable if I read things correctly. From what I read the Land of Lions DLC was inspired or is referencing Ethiopian architecture or Ethiopian culture in general. So I wanted that because Karen Obashar I didn't want to have like Western African or Southern African influence. I wanted Eastern or like Northeastern African influence because it kind of fits with the rest of Karen Obashar mostly in that it's a region close to where the broader influence base or reference base for Ken Abishar is because Ken Abishar, oh god how many inspiration points or in locations do I have for Ken Abishar right now I mean we have basically the entire Mediterranean yeah I'm not joking we're NO 1800 be becoming a big point in like how I want the city of Ken Abishar to look Right now we are literally drawing inspiration from France, actually also England or like Victorian England with like uh, buildings because NO1800 is quite a lot Victorian England kind of look. We have that, we have Southern Spain, Italy, not so much actually but sort of, Greece, Turkey, the entire Levant area, Iran, Iraq, Caucasus region because the... Mirage Mountains is mostly Kurdish architecture. Then you have Mashav Castle, which is of course the Levant area. Kian Abishar, just city-wise, is also going to draw a lot on like Levant, specifically actually Damascus. I also looked into, I can never pronounce this name correctly, I think. I constantly think I'm pronouncing this name wrong, and I probably am, but Cairo, Baghdad, Istanbul, a lot of other cities that are inspiring Kea and Abishar. Yes, Google Maps is my greatest friend because I can just go to every city and not have to pay for, well, plane tickets. And then there's off, of course Pinterest and there's a lot of like tours on YouTube of like people going to these places so that I don't have to go because I don't like leaving my house. So there's that. But um, yeah, Kea and Abishar has a lot of reference points and it's somehow collided with Valhalla because we have Victorian England inspiration which I eventually am also going to show how I well basically I'm going to give you an insight on how I want the actual city of Kian Abishar to look which by this point I am scared that we're not going to be able to make it because frame rate I have maxed out I think the game because my PC is handling it fine like there's not like a hundred percent usage on anything or any component of my pc the game is just who would have known that building the hagia sophia and trying to build a city and all these kinds of monuments and all of these is not what a zoo game was intended for 
also, now that I realize it, there is a little bit of a peek on like how the city of Kenabasha is going to look because it's in the background. Like some buildings are. I'm not going to say which side of the row of buildings because one is old and the other one is new. But anyway, so yeah, Kenabasha draws a lot of inspiration from a lot of places around the world. And that's what in my mind makes it like uniquely Kian al Bashar because it's not just one style there's just so many that I try to combine so that there's like I just like to combine architectural styles and just see what happens. Somehow Kian al Bashar takes a little bit of a reference point or inspiration from where Valhalla is also set which kind of works because it's supposed to be like this one like fantasy world in which all of these places are but um yeah, I did not think that Kayan Abishar would ever take inspiration from Victorian England. Or at least, let's just say Anno 1800. Anyway, so going back into what we're actually building, because you know that whenever I build habitat, I'm going to spend only like 2 minutes at most on the actual habitat. Maybe 5 is like a maximum, but yeah, mostly just about building buildings and an entire city. But um, yeah, so this style of buildings, it's... I think Ethiopian, but I couldn't really pinpoint where because, uh, basically. And halfway through, I deleted half of what I've made and then I went with another style, which I definitely know for sure is Ethiopian. Like, I don't know if this style of building is specifically Ethiopian or just takes inspiration from it and takes inspiration from other places. But what I later up ended up using was actually from what i know and i might have misread this like every time i sound slightly intellectual or sound like i have some kind of information please do your research yourself as well don't like automatically assume that i am right because i am just a random person on the internet like i could be just pulling things out of my ass and if i sound confident enough i might convince people so always do your own research because I can be wrong and I definitely have been wrong in the past. The style of buildings that I eventually ended up using is round. <laughs> A lot of, well actually I think all of it is round in the end. Because uh, where I first wanted like blockier buildings. Like sometimes I really go out for like, oh I want a blocky building. Yeah, sometimes I'm just like, I see what I built. When the scroll zone hits. <laughs> who knows what I'm going to build and also for everyone who is saying like oh how do you have the patience to do this what <laughs> I don't have patience I go into a squirrel zone as I call it which is basically I forget time exists like I don't have patience I just forget that time is there and like I completely concentrate on my building like nothing can take me away from the building and it's sometimes kind of scary <laughs> because I forget to eat or at least I forget that the, that's like dinner time or lunch time and because I like I want to finish something and then I forget to eat and then I forget to live <laughs> that sounds way too dramatic but it's YouTube we're all dramatic bitches in here but yeah so whenever somebody says oh you have so much patience for building this like I could never have the patience for this I am always a little bit like no, I just, I am weird and that's basically the reason why, why I take the time to build this. Also, well, the pandemic in a way helps because I don't have anywhere to go. So that also slightly helps. The pandemic is definitely not, not a positive thing because everything is closed down, people are getting sick, people are dying, so I don't want to take the pandemic too lightly. I was already a hermit but now I'm like almost a professional hermit. I don't go anywhere so I have the time to build things like this. But anyway now we are to the well the style of buildings that we ended up or I ended up using more or basically this became the majority of the village and I spread these buildings around the Elysian fields also for in some places but I first had just like basically the stereotypical African hut and then I thought like all right I'm going for Ethiopian style maybe I should look into actual 
real-life Ethiopian buildings and then I found a building style that I really liked and then I wanted to use it. Of course, just before I really go into this, this is not going to be completely accurate. Kayan Albashar is a fantasy zoo, so anything that I built in Kayan Albashar, even though it draws on real-life architecture, real-life culture, it is going to be somewhat morphed to fit in with the broader story that I've set for Kayan Albashar, because Kayan Albashar is fantasy. This whole world is a fantasy thing. There is a floating airship at the end in the cinematic shots for the end result of this video, because yeah, also it's a steam-driven airship, because... Phew, Keanu Bashar and just this entire world has gone very much out of just Renaissance medieval style, and there's a... I mean, I'm drawing inspiration for the city of Victorian England. Yeah, I think we already realized that this world is weirder than you might have thought. But anyway, so... I don't know for certain if the building style that I'm using is from like a specific cultural group. It might be. I do... Well, basically I literally have the PDF of like, well, architecture styles in Ethiopia sort of like quickly explained and I... Words confuse me, so I know that it, this building style is in the town of Roja and it's under like the like title of Lalibela, but I don't know for sure if that's like a cultural group or just an area, but if you look it up, I think that's how you can get to this building style, but it's basically these rounded buildings with staircases on the outside and it's like completely rounded, usually has like, it has thatched roofs, but at the start of the video I already explained that I can't really do thatched roofs, so I used wooden roofs. And here is the one time where I really liked that, like, the, well, that objects basically intersect. Because it created this really, in my opinion, beautiful, like, weaved look to the roof. For a long time, I did not know how to build this. And then in, like, 20 minutes, I put this out. I hit my mic. Sorry for that. That's definitely going to be noticeable on the audio because I hit it pretty hard because... What do I do with my hands when I'm recording these voiceovers? It's kind of an issue sometimes. But yeah, I really just like this building style because it fits in with Kian Abushar. These rounded roofs, the rounded buildings, although Kian Abushar doesn't have that many rounded buildings because rounded buildings are not, well, for me at least, not that difficult to make. It's just, I just forget to build them. But I really like the rounded roofs and I really like this tower aspect because you guys know I love a good tower. I really liked this style of building and then I went to research like oh is this actual like Ethiopian buildings because as the Valley of the Fox Spirit has taught me always double check if what you're building is actually from the style that you want to build because Look up Chinese buildings and you will find Japanese buildings as well it, thrown in there. But uh, yeah, so the style of buildings that I ended up with from, I'm just going to say from the town of Roa. I, again, I don't know for certain if this is like a cultural group or people group. It's under the title of Lali Bela, but I, from what I read here, it's, that's a, Ethiopian king, I think, so maybe that's what's named after. I, I'm not certain here, so again, I want to make sure to keep saying this, but always do your own research, because I probably can't do enough research in the time span or the, well, sort of deadline that I give myself to properly go into these things. And so, always do your own research, because at the end of the day, I am a random person on the internet. If I say something confident enough, I will convince people, even though I might be pulling things out of my ass. So always do your own research, and preferably not a 5 minute research thing on Facebook, on the toilet, while you're shitting, because... I feel like that's how the anti-vax movement was born, and I... Phew, I don't know how we are 
getting to here but um, I'm really open to all kinds of ideas and such but if you are actively or indirectly harming people then it's a quick no-go for me so I don't like the anti-vax movement and I think I've made that clear a lot of times. How did we get from Ethiopia to anti-vax movement? I well basically because I want to make sure that you guys are double checking whatever I say or whatever you hear on the internet because again say something confident enough and people will be convinced even though it might all be pulled out of your ass. But anyway so as I said yeah we're only going to spend like four three minutes on the actual habitat but I wanted to have like a well mud pit basically and a forager pit like that, those were like this is what I need to have in here. Mud pit because uh, yeah this does actually have an in-game name but I forget because I'm not good with names and just words in general. For me it has kind of become a running joke of like how many times can I mess up common English. And this is actually the fun bit, I also do that with Dutch. Like by this point I speak English so much with streams and videos and such that I just become a garbled mess of like I know the English word but I don't know the Dutch word and vice versa where I know the Dutch word but not the English word. And then my brain also just sometimes just coalize with itself and makes a half English Dutch word which doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Also just a side note, I really love these purple bushes. I really like them because they are they are the right color tone for Ken Amshar. <laughs> yes I have a specific color tone that I want to stay with when it comes to Ken Amshar, which is a little bit more like a lot of plants in plants who are blue toned and I'm looking for brown yellow red toned plants. So these bushes fit without being like just a wash of brown. Like the Sudanese incense tree is my favorite tree but it is eventually just a wash of just brown toned so I wanted like pop of colors and then these bushes came in and I am saved with them because I have bushes that fit the color tone and also have that pop of color with the just well I say purple but it can also be seen as pink so probably pink because my first intuition or my first uh, thought is usually not the correct one. Today's video is brought to you by sleep deprivation. <laughs> Actually I slept pretty well today but uh, yeah. Anyway that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and again always if I sound slightly intellectual or sound like I'm learning you something always double check things because I might be completely wrong and especially because I can't I can't spend a month on researching a certain topic because otherwise it would be a month before a new build video comes out which isn't what I want so anyway with that being said I again hope you enjoyed today's video if you did then there's the like and subscribe button if you want to see more and there is a notification bell button that will start working when I start speaking normal common English properly. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye bye.